kind of exciting. A um, friend of mine from work uh, helped me basically put together an old school set of relays and contacts uh, to solve a problem that I had. And that was how do you trigger crossing gates and flashers when you have multiple tracks that you're trying to cover. A uh, flyer did a great job if you have a single track, but what if you have more than that? So uh, I'm going to, this is going to be a short video. I'm just going to kind of show you the mess I have. There's wires running everywhere. Sensors aren't, um, you know, really put where they need to be yet. But I want to do just a short video tonight and just kind of show you what's going on. Okay, so here is a scenario. Now I've moved uh, a second set of flashers over here. I don't know if I will uh, have uh, two sets of flashers on the side. I may, haven't decided. Um, and then over here, I don't have a flyer, second gate that's a flyer, this is a Marks. Um, and then I'll have uh, a flasher or two on this side as well. But as you can see, I have four different lines um, of traffic. And uh, so that's been the dilemma. Would there be a way uh, to trigger flashing lights on any train that happens to be passing through? So um, what we have here is an old school style circuit board. Um, basically, you have two relays. And here is a, f a flasher, a cylinder or flasher relay uh, like you'd buy for a motorcycle. And um, here's basically what happens. We have a little um, power supply here. So this is taking my AC current from my, my American Flyer Transformer and just changing it to DC. Uh, so this 24 volt uh, comes from the transformer. Um, it's not 24 volts, it's actually less than that, but this converts the AC to DC. And then here is a terminal strip where uh, I have power from my track or transformer in this case. And then I have a gate, a light, and another light. And basically the point is the power, when, when the system is, is activated, the power to the gate is constant. So in this case, this gate has a solenoid in it and it needs to be powered or else the gate doesn't go down or stay down, I should say. So that's where that power needs to stay on. And then um, the two lights would be my crossing signals. This is just the light, and this is one with a bell. And by having those alternate, um, I get a ringing bell and flashing lights. Um, now it's possible, um, I, I did a little bit of processing on this, it would be possible to rig this up so that each light would blink independently, but it means tampering with an original flyer design accessory, and uh, I'd just rather not do that, I'd rather leave it original. So um, when we run this in a little bit, you'll see that these flash and those flash. And I know that's not quite prototypical, but it's flyer and it's cool. So uh, I'm gonna leave it. This is all fine and good, but how do we trigger all of this? Here are one and two sensors. And these sensors are adjustable and basically what they do is, uh, I believe they're infrared, and there's a little tiny screw at the back here, and you can uh, turn that screw and adjust their sensitivity. But I've got them fairly dialed in right now, so that as I push this car across, uh, their, their field of vision, they'll trigger the relays, and uh, we'll start getting some, some activity. Now, the one thing that isn't quite right <laughs> yet, and I, I need to talk to my my buddy Phil about this, is when I turn the power on, you will see this light stays on. Um, and so I need to check with him about uh, what we're doing because the one solenoid, obviously as it toggles back and forth, has power running through it. And I, I'm wondering if there's a way we can kind of turn that off to start with. But for now, uh, this is a great start. So I'm gonna turn the power on. As you can see, that one is lit. And now I'm going to take our car here and push it a little bit forward. We should see some yellow. There's, there we go. Now our sensor's engaging. And we come over here. And look at that. Is that not cool? <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. And, uh, of course, you can just double double up your lights and run power wires uh, to other locations. 
Um, and when this is all done, you know, it'll be hidden so that we don't have this mess. So I'm going to push the car on through here. The other sensor I don't have turned quite right, so it's not picking it up yet. So that's uh, another adjustment. But as you can see, um, this light is on. So that's something that I'm hoping we can get sorted through. Anyhow, I'll push the car a little closer to the other sensor. <laughs> and there we go. Anyhow, just kind of a cool thing. Um, breathing new life into old accessories and kind of using an old uh, approach to electronics. Uh, relays have been around forever and uh, so it's technically arguably period correct to use relays. So thought I'd share that with you all. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks a lot for tuning into Austin's American Flyer and uh, would love to hear your comments and until next time, God bless and enjoy your trains.